When looking to accessorize the iPad mini, there are always three parts that I look at. You've got the essentials, the optional, and then the out there and slightly weird, but also quite fun accessories. So my actual number one for the essentials is not the Apple Pencil 2. It's actually one I found on Amazon that looks almost identical to the official Apple Pencil 2, except that this one is a fifth of the price of this one. And honestly, the only difference is that it doesn't have the pressure sensitivity and the Apple Pencil logo. And it has something extra on the end as well, which for a lot of Avid note takers isn't actually a deal breaker. Like it still attaches and charges with the magnetic attachment at the top. It still reports its battery levels. It does still have the tilt feature for either like precision or shading. Palm rejections on there. You also get three extra tips in the box. And it even one ups the Apple Pencil with this small LED on the top to show you how charged it is. You know, green basically says it's fully charged, amber, red when it's on lower charge. Now I can't actually remember the make of this pencil, but I'll have it linked down below along with everything else in this video that I cover. And along with the pencil is the number two essential accessory for any iPad mini. And this is a must have for anyone who writes or draws. It is the paper-like and it combines a, as, he, as he's finding it, a screen protector with something that also makes the screen feel, well, Paperlike. It is quite incredible to experience. Now, yes, Paperlike are sponsoring this video, but they are so easy to recommend because I genuinely use Paperlike on all of my iPads already. Now, without one of these fitted, I just find that writing or drawing on any iPad just feels too slippery in a way. I mean, you're literally putting this little plastic or rubbery tip onto glass and my handwriting is already worse than a five-year-old, so I don't need any help making it any worse. But when you fit a paper like, that feeling goes away and it's replaced with that almost unnoticeable feeling that just feels far more natural, like when writing with a pencil onto paper. You also do get two included in the box or the envelope. So if you do mess up fitting the first one or end up like inevitably catching your screen on something, you can just swap over for the second one in the same package. Now I have got a drawer of these now and I have one for every iPad I own. And if you want to grab one for yourself, then if you just use the link down below in the description and you can grab one for your iPad mini and perhaps any other iPads that you own too. Now next up on the essentials, I got something pretty unique for you and it's got a feature that I'm pretty sure you'll value because I really do value it too. Now this is from IO, he, I think that's how you say its name, and it is massive overkill for the iPad mini, but it is now basically the only cable that I carry around with me for like everything. Like this one cable can charge all of my devices. Now, aside from the fact it just looks freaking awesome in this yellow color and you're definitely not going to lose this for, you know, anywhere for sure. It supports up to 240 watts with USB power delivery 3.1. Now this means I can charge anything from my iPad right through to my MacBook Air or MacBook Pro all with this one set of cables. Now you can also make these cables as long or as short as you want. Sometimes I just need to plug in a device without a load of like extra cables in the way. So I could just use a short cable and sometimes I need to reach, you know, the charger that's down on the floor by the mains plug. So I can use one of these extension cables to do that too. And at other times I might just even need to charge some lightning accessories, which you can do by just swapping the end of this cable for the lightning version. So my AirPod Pros or my AirPod Maxes all can charge with this one kit, everything comes together. And there is also a neat LED light on the end here, which shows you how fast the device is charging. Green for trickle charge, yellow for fast charging, and blue for just standard charging. So whilst this might be overkill, yes, for just the iPad mini, it is a great all-in-one solution for all of my devices. And uh, yeah. I love it, it's pretty cool. Now in terms of what you plug this cable into, there are of course a bunch of chargers out there from all the usual makes, but I was recently sent a couple of these really unique chargers and they are, well, anything but boring. They are tiny little robots with two USB-C ports on the top and also a single USB-A port. And these are 65 watt chargers. And the cutest thing is that when you plug them in, their eyes light up, which is yeah, a little unusual, but it's certainly a way to stand out if you like something a little bit different. Now those are the essentials and some people stop here, but there are some obvious accessories which can enhance your iPad mini even further. Now the first and most popular one of course is the keyboard. Now I've gone with Nufi's latest Air 75 keyboard. Now of course I did, it has an orange and kind of yellowy space bar and uh, yeah you, you kind of know. And the Air 75 is a 75% ultra slim wireless mechanical keyboard. You can also use it wired as well if you do want to. Now I went for the brown switches in this model which sounds nice and clicky for those of you who love that like really tactile feedback when you type. It's really cool. Can't get enough of it. 
Uh, you can also connect up to four devices on this keyboard through wireless or Bluetooth. It works on both Mac and Windows. It has a switch for that and even comes with a few extra keycaps that you want to switch over for the Mac keys for the Windows keys to have that proper setup. And I've actually started using this as a replacement for my Logitech MX keys for my main Mac studio just because I just like sitting down to work on these kind of videos and scripting these videos out, typing on a mechanical keyboard. It just feels really nice. Let's give you some more. And with the 75, they fixed the biggest issue with their previous model, with including a wider right side shift key, which I always miss on like other keyboards if I've used like smaller keys on them. Now you also get some really nice LED effects if you're into that. Now all in all, it just makes for a really comfortable and a really enjoyable typing experience. Now Nufi also makes the Nufolio V2 case for you to like wrap this up and carry your keyboard safely, which could also double as a stand for your iPad, but I'm genuinely unable to get hold of one of these because they are just constantly sold out. So um, hopefully soon. But what I have found though, is a couple of these smart like magnetic accessories. Now I have a bit of a personal obsession with like magnetic accessories. I just find that when implemented well, they can really enhance your experience of a product. Now with my iPhone, I use a magnetic iPhone case that lets me literally stick my iPhone to any metal surface. For the iPad mini, though, there are two that are pretty permanently attached to the back of mine. Now, one is this magnetic sticker, which lets me stick the iPad to, well, again, any metal surface. The fridge, if you want to hold the iPad up whilst you're cooking, perhaps, or on a FaceTime call, or you just don't want it laying around on the worktop to get you know, covered in food. Now, the second is a collapsible and also magnetic stand. Now, both of these are from a brand called Moft, and it's just so handy to have something that doesn't add much or any extra size or weight to the iPad, but that's always there. So at any moment, I can just kick out the stand and then prop the iPad up and use it like that. And it works in both portrait and landscape modes as well, which is uh, you know, even better if you want to kind of use this to sit there and type on with a keyboard. Now, since I don't actually have the new folio case, I'm actually using this to prop up my iPad whilst typing or, you know, watching content or just, you know, having it sat on the sofa or couch arm, um, if that's what you call it. <laughs> and when I'm done, I can just fold it away, throw it in my bag and uh, yeah, be done with it super easy. Now, next up, if you really want to switch up your iPad experience is using this USB-C dongle. And I've gone with this one from Anchor because it's uh, a bit more of a reliable make than others I've used. Now, I've actually found this really useful recently, like connect it to your iPad and you can now use a full size screen via HDMI. Then you can hook up a keyboard and a mouse for this like semi desktop experience all from this iPad mini. You can also hook up USB-C drives by plugging in a USB-C hard disk to the dock. But one that's been really useful recently is being able to wire my iPad directly into my home network with the cable. Now this made a massive, and I can't understate this enough, like massive difference when downloading the latest iOS 17. And if you use your iPad to sync your files with the cloud, or perhaps you're about to travel like I am, and you just want a way to speed up downloading you know, a ton of content offline that you can watch on the plane, then this is honestly a must have. And it really, 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 really speeds up the ability to do all of those. Now I mentioned hooking up an external USB drive. Now my choice has always been these fantastically fast and small and pretty reliable Samsung T7 SSDs. They're available in 500 gig, a terabyte. I think this is a two terabyte model. But again, these are so small, you can just throw them into your bag and just bring them with you if you wish. Now, once you have your drive hooked up, you can literally just drag and drop photos and videos into the files app to store them and just you know move them around between your iPad and any other device. But as far as the out there accessories goes, I think this is definitely one that doesn't fit into your normal video, but are oh so good. Now, these are the Vitcher, Vitcher XR glasses, and I'm about to take these on a very long plane journey so I can see or even lie down really comfortably and watch movies, play games, and even work without having to sit all like hunched over in my chair staring at the screen, especially when combined with a good pair of earbuds like these AirPod Pro 2s, of course, or the perhaps the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras as well. Now, the glass is wired directly into the iPad via this magnetically attached cable, and honestly, they make long journeys just so much more comfortable. And uh, bonus, if you're an avid like TikTok scroller in bed, you could just wear these and avoid the inevitable like smack of the phone as it falls onto your face as you fall asleep. Now, I made a full review of these glasses over here. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you're going to love watching this video next. So uh, yeah, let's see if they're right.